sorry. Can you kind of talk about today's win, what contributed to the game today? Like, Oh, I think uh, probably about 99% of the reason that we won tonight was uh, Logan Thompson. It might be even higher than that uh, if you want to go 99.5%. Um, he was outstanding. Uh, he kept us in that game. Um, in the second period, uh, it was unbelievable what he did in the third period just to keep us afloat. And then, uh, you know, we got some, we got a break, uh, capitalized, and then all of a sudden we got caught our energy. Um, and then we were, looked like we weren't tentative and afraid to play or, or, or make mistakes. And that last, uh, uh, I don't know what it was, four or five minutes. I don't I actually don't know what it was, but it's, uh, I've, n I've never seen anything like that before. But uh, it was, uh, Certainly nice uh, for us to get the win. Um, it, positive to see that how we ended there, but uh, we uh, we certainly weren't uh, anywhere near how we normally play for the first whatever 54, 55 minutes of the game here. So that's something we're going to have to address this week here that make sure that we're ready to start and get back to what we do best is, is work hard. So heading on the road for the next couple of weeks, what's going to be the key to success? Um, going to be on the road trip. Well, we did well, uh, quite well, uh, on our, our two previous road trips um, just by work ethic alone. That kept us uh, involved or in a lot of hockey games, uh, playing in tough buildings, and that's something that we have to continue to keep doing, and that shouldn't matter whether we're playing at home or on the road. That's something that's got to be a, a given every single night is that we're going to work and work real hard and work within our system and our structure. And... Um, Again, not being negative, uh, but we got away from that again uh, from tonight and also uh, quite a bit yesterday also too. But that's something we're going to correct this week, and we have to have that in place uh, going on a, a long uh, you know, road stretch coming up here. Daniel Cho, Henderson Silver Knights. Coach, 11 total goals here tonight, three total goals yesterday. Do you happen to have a preference towards maybe the slower, lower-scoring games versus the higher-scoring games like tonight? You know, it, it, every game has its own, you know, story in itself and how it's going to be, how it's going to be played out. Um, you know, there is some, I think there's some weird goals scored on both sides, uh, just from deflections or coming off the boards wrong and different things. And, but at the end of the day, still pucks are still going towards the net and things are going to happen at times like that. But, um, you know, I think that some of the goals that we've given up as far as our, how loose our coverage was, that's not what we're happy with. Um, you know, we certainly want to score as many goals as you can, but uh, we like to think if we're doing our job in our own defensive uh, coverage and in our in the neutrals will coming back that we can eliminate a lot of those too. So that's something, um, you know, we want to clean up certainly going forward. And then also um, Jonas Ronberg obviously scores his first two career NHL goals while he's up with BGK. Scores two here tonight. Can you just speak about how well he's been playing here lately? Well, you know, one thing with uh, Jonas and also Jake, um, what you saw when he was up with uh, Vegas Golden Knights is the same thing you, you see down here. They didn't change their game at all. Um, you know, and they got rewarded uh, by being, you know, like for us, for instance, we use them more offensively than obviously they're going to use at the NHL level because that's just the way it is. And at the NHL level, they're so deep and so talented. Uh, but for us, you know, there's an opportunity for them to continue to develop their offensive skills. And they're going to be put in those situations. And we're really happy that they get rewarded for that. But the biggest thing for those two types of players is that they play the game the right way. They don't cheat the game. And a lot of their opportunities come from being in the good positioning and working real hard. And I'm so happy for him and, and both those guys the way they played this weekend.